Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sapphire Turner, and today I am going to be um, showing you guys how I make my, I'm going to be hand sewing um, my pillowcases together. It's basically a throw pillow, okay? And I'm going to show you how I hand sew a throw pillow, all right? A lot of people like to use a sewing machine, and I like doing that too as well, but my specialty is really um, just really creating things by hand, okay? So first and foremost, please like and subscribe, all right? I decided to do a faceless video today, <laughs> okay? So yeah, so please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will help me out a lot. Um, you know, as far as getting the word out there, getting these videos out there, um, as I stated in some of my other videos, I'm going to be coming forth and I'm going to be doing a lot of teachings, a lot of, um, you know, how, how, how to's about jewelry, about, um, you know, hand, handmade products, pillows, blankets, and things of that nature. All right. So please be so kindly to like and subscribe and even maybe possibly share. Okay. So as you can see. All right, we know we all know the Fourth of July already passed, but I've been having this fabric for like over a year now, and I'm just now like you know I'm like it's cute. Let me go ahead and just <laughs> make something out of it. All right, so um, I've already pre-cut my pieces of fabric. All right, which is um, this size is sixteen by sixteen. Okay. And I cut out two square pieces, all right? And um, I also have my thread, all right? And I have, this is actually embroidery thread. You can use the regular, let me see if I have that. You can also use the, um, I can't put my hand on it right now, but you can also use, yes I can, I have it. The regular thread as well, um, but, Today, I'm going to be using my embroidery thread. Um, for some reason, to me, it just holds better with the embroidery thread. So you can use either or, either embroidery thread or either the regular sewing thread. Okay? So you have the thread. And normally, when I do um, do my sewing, I try to get the color that's most closest to, like, the fabric material. All right? And then, I, you know, I go ahead and sew it. And I also have my needle. All right, and I have a pair of scissors somewhere around here. <laughs> so let's get started. So first we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, thread our needle. All right. So go ahead and just throw. Okay, we're going to thread our needle. And then we're going, you know, like maybe arm length. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and cut that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and tie it in a knot. All right. Take that. Around. You just pull it through. Okay. And I always like to do it about two or three times just to make sure. Um, okay, that is secure. So we're going to lay that right here. All right. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to take your fabric and you're going to turn it inside out. Okay. So that means the pretty sides will be on the insides and the ugly sides <laughs> will be on the outside. All right, so do that. So you put both of the pretty sides together, all right, and then the, um, the ugly sides on the outside. Okay, make sure you line it up really. Make sure I line it up. Okay, so I've made sure that this is lined up 
really nice and neatly. Okay. And like I said before, this is a 16 by 16, 16 by 16. Um, it's going to be a 16 by 16 pillowcase. All right. So what I actually wanted to do in this video, I wanted to show you how I sold this, but then as well, I'm going to be adding tasseled, um, tassels to them. And I'm going to make my tassels out of yarn. Okay. So it's going to be exciting. Right, so first I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how. Oh, my one year old joined me, y'all. <laughs> so you're going to hear him in the background. So, what I'm going to do, I'm trying to get as close as possible so that I can show you guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take my needle, all right, and I'm going to just stick it from behind so that you guys can see it. And I'm gonna do it in about, uh, about an inch down from the edge. No, 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 baby, don't do that. I'm gonna do it about an inch down from the, ed from the edge, okay? So I'll say about right there, okay? And then I'm just gonna pull it through. Just like that. And I'm going to take my time with this because I want you guys to be able to get it, okay? So I'm not going to go fast. I'm going to take my time, all right? So now that you have pulled the string through, what you're going to do is just simply begin to put your needle through and then just pull it through the back. Okay. All right. And then you do the same thing. You put your needle through the back. Okay. And then you pull it through. All right. I should have used black. And that way y'all couldn't be able to um really see the thread. But anywho. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead. So now that I've done that, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of do this type of um, sewing and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by that. So I push it through, okay? I take my finger, I push it up, push it back through, and I push it up again. Then I pull it through. Okay. Right. Yeah, I think I should have used the black thread instead so you guys can see it. Let me let me get my black thread instead because I want you guys to really be able to see how I'm doing this. And really honestly, it really doesn't matter what color thread I use right now because I'm just teaching you guys. So Let's just cut that off. And we're going to re-thread our needle. And I'm just going to use a darker, um, a navy blue regular thread. Okay, so I'm going to re-thread. Like I said before, just do like maybe an arm's length. Okay. Cut. And then I'm going to just go ahead and tie the knot again. Okay. There you have it. So I tied my knot two times this time. Okay. So. So as I stated before, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go about a half, about an inch down from the back. You push, pull your thread through, okay? And then like a, 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 a easier technique is when, 
go down, back up, in, out. Instead of just pulling it through, and then pulling it back up, and then pulling it through, and then pull it back up, it takes much um, longer doing it that way. Okay? So you can kind of see the um, darker thread there, okay? So I'm gonna do that technique again. You just put it down, push it through, back up. You wanna use your thumb to help you do this. Okay, back up, push it through, back up, push it through, back up, and pull. So it don't matter how many times you push it through, push it through and then pull it back up. All right, you, you can do that until you get until you either run out of the thread or um, or until, you know, depending on how long your string, your, your thread is, you do it until you get to the end of the end of the um, pillow. All right. So again, y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can really see that. So you push it through. Okay. Up. In. Up, in, up, pull it through. Okay, come on. Okay, you pull it through again. You see that in the back? How that come? How that's coming out? Okay, so we're gonna do it again. Push it through, up, push it through, up, push it through, up. Then you just pull it through, okay? Push it through, and you just hold this up, push it through, up. Push it through, up, pull it through. You see how that's coming out? Some people like to do smaller um, intervals, all right? Smaller intervals with the, with the threading. But honestly, to be honest with you, it really doesn't matter. As long as you, you know, as long as you're sewing it in um, consecutively and you're not missing any, you know, you don't have any big gaps in between, you're pretty much good. So it doesn't really it, it it doesn't really matter how it looks right now at this point because this is how it's gonna look when you're done um, sewing it. Just gonna show you a preview how it's gonna look when you're done sewing it. It's gonna look exactly like this, okay? So you're not going to be able to you know see the thread and the ugly part. That's what I call it, the ugly part, okay? So I just wanted to show y'all that real quick. So don't worry, don't say, oh, I'm not sewing it this, I'm not doing it, no, it doesn't really matter. Just as long as you do the technique I showed you, going in, out, in, out, and out, all the way across, you are good, okay? So I'm gonna do it some more. And then um, I'm going to do it all around and then come back and show you guys. All right, so I'm just gonna do it some more. So in, up, in, up, in, up. And then I'm just gonna pull it through. Simple as that, okay? In, up, in, up, in, up. Okay. And pull it through. We almost there, y'all. <laughs> okay. And then I'm um, also going to show you guys, like, say for instance, if we get halfway through sewing the pillowcase and you run out of thread, right? So I'm going to show you guys when I get like towards the ending, towards the end of this, this um, this row right here, this side rather. I'm go, excuse me. I'm going to show you how um, 
how you can do it if just in case you run out of thread, okay? In, up, in, up, in, up, and you pull it through. Okay? Okay. Malachi. Yes. Hush. Okay. In. I'll hush. Up. In. Up. In. Up. Okay. Let's do it again. In. Up. In. Up. Malika, mm -hmm. stop. Okay. No. In. Up. In. Up. In. Up. Okay. So like I said, it's just like really a, a up down type of thing or in out type of thing. Okay, in out in out in out. Then you pull through. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys. Just say for instance you get to this this far and your thread runs out, right? So I have took in the needle. I've cut it off. I'm going to take this piece here and just, you know, just tie it in a knot. Okay. Tie it in a knot a couple of times, not too tight, you know, or whatever. You're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. Okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and just re-thread my thread. Okay, I'm going to re-thread my thread. Pull it through. Put it in that. You want to talk to the people? Yeah. He says hi, y'all. Don't touch. Yes. Say bye. You say bye to the people? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> so what we're going to do is so this is where I have um, tied it and put it in a knot, okay? So what you're gonna do is you can just take the needle, go backwards, all right? So maybe the hoop right before you put the knot in and you just put the needle in like I told you, showed you guys, go in, out, in, out, in, out. So it's kind of like you're 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 actually restarting it, but you're also um, just making sure that you um, do it so that the thread won't the first piece of thread won't come back out. Right. So I'm going to redo it again in out in out. All right. There you have it. So just in case if the first thread that I put in and um, I tied the little knot in, if that slips out, then you all, always have a replacement with the second thread that I put in, okay? So that's you can do that just in case um, you're sewing and your thread runs out. 
so you don't have to panic okay so I'm going to go ahead and finish doing that in out in out in out You also so want to make sure that you keep the two pieces um, even and aligned, okay? In, out, in, out, in, out. Let me pull it through. Ba, ba, ba. It's not bye bye time. It's not time to go bye bye. Bye bye. Not yet. Bye bye. No, and bye bye. Out, in. Out. In. Ma. Out. Okay. And there you go. So I have done the first side thus far, you guys. All right. This side is done. And I'm going to show you how it looks on the pretty side. See that, guys? See how pretty that is? This is how it looks on the beautiful side. Okay. So turn it back around. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on the second side and I'm going to do the same thing I did on the first side. All right. So I know you guys don't want to sit here <laughs> and watch me do all four sides. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and finish the pillow case off and then I'll be back. All right. Okay, y'all. So we back. So the pillow case has been sewn all around as you can see all right on all four corners i left out a little bit on the last um side because i was thinking um about going ahead and stuffing it for you guys i wanted to show you how i do that um i usually use the polyfill from like maybe walmart or joanne somewhere to stuff it or you can also buy the um the pillow fillers that's already that's already made. All you have to do is just put the inserts inside of the pillows. Okay, so that's done. Um, really quick, I just want to show you guys how it looks. Malachi, how it looks on the pretty side. Okay. Trying to move as fast as possible. Okay. Right. And there you have your beautiful 16 by 16 inch pillowcase. So you guys see that? How it was so pretty all around. See that? It's gorgeous. You can't even tell that the inside of this pillow is ugly. <laughs> Look at that. Let me get close up. Y'all see that? Perfection at its finest. You can't see the thread, you can't see anything. Okay, because mama know what she doing. All right. And there you have it. So I'm going to just turn it right back inside out. Malachi. Are you? Don't do that. I'm for treasure. You don't look for treasure on my wall? Stop. Okay. 
Okay, that's my little Malachi, y'all. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Okay, so I actually was watching YouTube one day and I actually saw a lady who um who actually cut off the tip of her pillowcases on the end like on the ugly side she took all four corners and she cut just a little bit the tip of the pillowcase off so you want to make sure that if you do this do not cut the thread you see how the thread goes down and then it goes across when you cut it you want to make sure that you do not cut it so far that you cut the thread off okay and you have to start the project all over again and rethread all of that okay so and the reason being is because she was stating that when you cut all four edges off that it doesn't give okay like say for, okay when i get ready to stuff my pillow all right sometimes when i when i stuff my pillows okay um the four corners actually look like dog ears and sometimes it looks weird okay so the lady said that you are to cut off just a little bit the tip of the corner okay so that when you stuff your pillow and you turn the inside out it'll look it'll have like a more professional look okay it won't look like a scary dog I mean, um, the dog ears. I said a scary dog. <laughs> okay. So I'll just cut it off a little bit. See what the lady was talking about. Okay. So, now here go the fun part. What I'm now going to do, Malachi, could you turn this light on? Can you turn that light on? yes thank you so now what I'm going to do you guys is I'm going to grab my yarn okay so I'm going to freestyle this I'm going to use the colors that I have that's going to match this so I didn't have a blue and white um already mixed yarn so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to freestyle it myself and mix it together okay so you got your yarn I also have a yarn needle Okay, you're gonna need a yarn needle to help you with this. Um, of course, your scissors. And you're gonna need something. Shh. Malika, go sit down. Okay. And you're gonna also need um, something. Okay, so don't laugh at me, y'all, okay? Don't judge me neither. This here is, I do embroidery. So this is my embroidery hoop, okay? <laughs> and this is 10 inches, okay? So I'm gonna use this to wrap my yarn around, okay? So what you wanna do is when you're doing, if you're gonna be making like uh, yarn tassel earrings or tassels for pillows, it doesn't really matter. You can use whatever size, stop Malachi. You can use whatever size um, object you want, whether it's a book, whether it's a, a piece of a cardboard box, um, embroidery hoop, <laughs> a wallet, whatever size the object is that you use will be the size of your tassels. So because this is a pillow and I want my tassels to be cute, I'm just going to try the um, 10 inch tassels, okay? Um, and I'm going to show you how I wrap it around. I normally wrap about 50 times. You can wrap lesser than that or you can wrap more than that. But it's to your liking and it's to your thickness, whatever you like, however you like your tassels to look, to each his own. Okay? But I decided to use my embroidery hoop on today. So don't be hating on me, y'all. Okay? Don't be hating in the comment section about my object that I'm using today. Okay? All right. So you got your embroidery hoop. 
I'm just gonna freestyle. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna freestyle because these hands is blessed. These hands is anointed, y'all. Do you hear me? These hands is anointed. God has truly blessed these hands. Tell him to stop playing with that light, please. I got a house full of kids, y'all. From the age of 10 years old and the youngest is one. Okay? Four of them. So, a girl is on her toes all the time. Okay. So, what you're going to do is you're going to Sorry if you can't see the whole entire hoop. Okay, what size is this one? Maybe I could do it this way. Let me get my measuring tape. Let me measure it and see. This side is actually seven inches. I don't think that's long enough. Would that be long enough? Uh, yeah, maybe I could do seven inches. I don't have to necessarily do 10. Because I'm just showing you guys anyway, so. Nah, I'll do the 10. I'll do the 10. Sorry, y'all. Like I said, it don't matter what size inches you desire. You know, you can do 4 inch, 5 inch, 6 inch, 7 inch, 10 inch, 15, 16, 20 inch. It's up to your liking. Whatever inch you want to do, that's the inch you do. Okay? So, let me go ahead. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around gonna hold it in place with my finger and then I'm gonna wrap so like I said before I'm wrapping 50 times so that's one two okay three four five six seven oh and don't wrap it too tight to where you can't get it off your object but don't wrap it too loose neither so like kind of in between all right I think that was seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, maybe I'll do 40 times. Yeah, this seems pretty good. So, okay, so I wrapped it 40 times instead of 50. Okay? So what you do now is you cut it, okay, and you just carefully just slide it off, just like this. Just slide it on off. Make sure that you do not lose the hole that's in the middle, okay? So let me just make sure that I have control. Okay, I got it, okay? So you just pull it off, like just like that. And what you want to make sure is that you do not lose, okay, this hole that's here, okay? Make sure that you do not lose this hole that's here, all right? Better yet, you know what? Like this. Maybe this might be a little too long. Okay, you know what? So, yeah. So, maybe I should have did it shorter okay it doesn't matter anywho y'all you live and you learn so we're going to start that over okay so we're just going to do the seven inches instead of the ten because that's pretty long okay i didn't want it to look goofy okay so we're going to start that over one see you learn as you go one two three four five six seven eight my ring is stuck. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Let's see. Thirty. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. 31, 32, 33. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, okay. So we have 40, y'all, okay? So this is the seven inches. So like I said before, you just slide it off. Make sure that you don't lose your hole in the middle, okay? Okay. 
make sure I don't lose my hole. Middle, and slide it off, and there you go. Okay, so that's your hole. Right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna just lay it down. Okay. And you're gonna get a piece of string. You can use the blue. Well, I'm gonna use um, blue. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it to my arm's length. Okay, and I got some long arms, y'all. Okay. And what I'm gonna do now is, where is my needle? I'm going to, this is what I'm gonna do. Is this long enough? Hope it's long enough. Okay, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna put it between the hole, okay? You see that? So it should look like this. Put it between the hole, the opening, then you pull it up, okay? And it should look exactly like this, okay? You don't cut it yet, but you wanna make sure that your tassel looks like this. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie it as tight as you can, but not so tight that you pop it, okay? So you're gonna tie it tight, okay? You can tie it about three, three or four good times. It's not gonna hurt it. Okay. Yes, I think that's three times. Four. Okay. So, it should look like this. You got the long string that you just tied secure and then you have this part so now you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut in the middle of your hoop of your of your your circle your hole or whatever you want to call it cut it even even as you can okay and it should look like this all right it should look exactly like this And some of the ends may look um, uneven, okay? Some of the ends may look uneven. So all you gotta do, take your scissors and just cut the um, uneven strings, okay? I'm just gonna cut right on across. I'll cut it this way, it'd be easier for me. Okay. Well, like I said before, it's to your liking. Okay. There's your tassel. It's not done just yet. So I'm just gonna cut it a little bit more to how I like it to be. Okay. And there you have it. Okay, so this is how you make a tassel. All right. So the next part is I am going to take another long piece, arm's length. And I'm going to lay it down, okay? I'm going to put it about, mm, I wanna say about, a, what is that, an inch? Let's see. 
Okay, about two inches. So say about maybe two inches down from the starting part, okay? You can use your measuring tape to help you, or you could put it, you know, you could put it down maybe an inch or two down from the starting part at the top. And then all you do is you begin to tie, okay? Tie it tight, okay? Tie it tight, and it should look like this, right? Isn't that cute? Then you wanna tie it in a knot after you tied it the first time. Tied it. Oh no, I gotta do this one over y'all. Cause I let the string go too soon. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, tie, cut another piece of string. Lay it down like I told you. Do it about two inches down. And then you just tie it. Okay. You tie it. I think I want you to come down a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. And you just tie it. Nope. A little bit more. Okay, there you go. So now what I'm gonna do is just basically just wrap. I'm gonna string around really nice and neat to how I like it. Now you could wrap it until there's no more string or you know you could wrap it around two or three times and then that could be it like i said it's really up to how you like your tassels to look okay Okay, and that's how it looks, All right? So that's it for me. So I'm going to just go ahead and just tie it in the back one more time. Okay, tie it tight. And then I'm gonna tie it again. And then again, because you wanna make sure that it doesn't come out. And then maybe one more time. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Make sure it's secure. Okay, now you can either leave it like this or some people, I've seen some people just go ahead and just cut it off. But in this case, it blends in well so you don't have to cut it off, okay? And that, my friends, is how you make a pillow tassel, okay? Isn't that cute? So cute. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our needle Okay, we're gonna take our needle and we're gonna go ahead and, um, how did I do this before? It's been so long since I did this. Hold on y'all, hold on. Okay, you wanna thread your yarn needle. This is the difficult part, but Okay, just thread it. Good. And then 
that wasn't too bad. Turn it around because it's twisted. Okay. So now what you're going to do is. All right. So here's the challenging part. You're going to put your hands in the hole that I showed you guys earlier. Okay. Now, this is one of the edges that I cut where the tassel was going to go at. Okay. So, you take your tassel. You take the needle. And what you're going to do is, once you put the tassel in the pillow, you're going to stick the needle right through here. And then you're going to pull this string through. Okay. So, this is on my needle. Okay, here we go. Make sure it's right directly in the middle of that. Okay, so it's, it's there. So now what you do is you pull this blue string right on through. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. Then you just pull this off. Okay. So now the tassel is locked inside of the pillow. Okay. It's right here. It's right there. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take these two strings and you're just going to tie it. However tight, you know, whatever length. Where's my opening? Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and then you're just going to go ahead and you're just going to tie it. Okay. You can tie it four times, five times, six times. It doesn't matter. You want to make sure that it's um, stable. That's two, three, Four, five, six, because I like to make sure. Seven, okay? And then you can just cut your string a little bit, okay? My only did seven? Yeah, I did seven, baby. So now I'm going to show you guys how my tassel came out. Okay. See that? And that's how that looks. Okay. Super, super duper cute. I'm not done yet, y'all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue on making my tassels all around the four corners of my pillow. And I will be back to show you guys how it came out. All right. Hey, y'all. All right. So I'm back. Um, I have put all of my tassels onto my pillow, right? This is how they came out. So, 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 so cute, right? I just try to free freestyle it. Just do a little bit something different, okay? So this is how the pillow came out, guys, all right? And this is how it, um, looks nice and professional all right nice and professional so i didn't get a chance to show you guys how i actually sold my pillow clothes but i will be doing um another video probably in my next video i'll be showing y'all how i um close my hand sewn pillow all right so thank you guys for joining me on today um I pray that this video has helped out a lot. Um, if you are seeking for um, private classes, 
I'm also doing private classes, okay, um, for a small donation. Um, you can email, well, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my information in the comment section um, below, how you can reach me, my email, um, and yeah, we can just take it from there. I can teach you privately on how to hand sew, how to do things, hand, you know, handmade projects. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so please, 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 y'all, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share these videos because I know there's a lot of people out there wanting to know how to hand sew a pillow, how to do tassels, and just different things. I'm going to um, start coming up here and showing you guys how I do um, how I do my jewelry, how I do my t-shirts, my candles, and just different things, all right? So, as I said before, please like and subscribe. And until I see you in the next video, God bless and peace out.